guys welcome back to my channel so we are finally back from florida and i am so excited because it is finally time just like i promised you guys we are going today to get the last materials that we need to build blue's new tortoise table we have the plans all drawn up so i'm really excited i've been waiting to build this literally since the first day that i got him i've known that i wanted to build him a bigger tortoise table you guys know he's in a three by two tortoise house right now by zoom Ed, and while i love those tortoise houses blue is a juvenile he's not a hatchling anymore so we do have to get him into something big so that's what we're gonna take care of today. I know that we're gonna go to a building materials store and we're probably gonna get a bunch of wood and brackets and boring stuff but for the most part I've already bought all of the decor as you guys know I just did a really big haul for blue where I bought a ton of stuff for him and Koa and some of the other animals too. If you haven't seen that haul video I will leave a link for you down below. But yeah I'm really excited to get started. I will take you guys along with us. If you guys enjoyed this video of me building my new DIY tortoise table be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. So we are headed to the store right now probably gonna stop and get something to eat because I am starving. I hope you guys enjoy. So, What's we need to figure out uh, what kind of plywood we want to do on the bottom. Okay. So we need to pick our plywood. So we got the plywood, we got half inch thick, and then we have to get our 1x12s for the sides. The one by 12 by 10. $25 That's really pretty. So my tortoise house is gonna be five foot long on each side. So we're gonna get one, one by 12 by 10. It's 10 foot. We'll cut it in half and that will be all we need for both sides of the length of it. So we just need one. Now he has to get the one by 12s. And one of these cut down the middle will be the entire walls, the two, the front and the back wall. And then he has to get the six foot, basically be the two ends. Okay, so we had to get this piece of wood here, a one by four by six. So it's gonna be on the back, so it's gonna literally look just like this, only with the walls. We'll show you when it's done, obviously. This is what's gonna hold the uh, the lid of the enclosure on. It's gonna have hinges, and that's how the lid is gonna open. Right now, he's looking for the piece. So if, this, if we were looking at the tortoise table, that is what's gonna hold the door on, the hinge on the back. This will be the front top of the top of it. This is the front, and then he's looking for the sides now, which will hold the wire, the chicken wire. So this is essentially what the roof will look like, and then there'll be chicken wire. We'll probably get these hinges for the lid. There's a bunch of different ones. So we have all the wood, all the screws, all of the hinges, and now we are going to get the chicken wire for the lid. Chicken wire. We also bought a new door for our bathroom. <laughs> Okay, so we are in the car about to head home with all of our materials. Look at this disaster. Because we bought the doors. We've been thinking about getting these new doors for our bathroom for a really long time. Anyway, they were on sale, so we got those too. So, like, this is a mess. But we are heading home now, and then we will start putting this together. We had to stop and get some Chick-fil-A fries. Just too good to pass up. We're still heading home. So here is all of the hardware that we did buy. This is all the hardware that is essentially gonna be attached to the tortoise house. This is optional. I decided to do these for the lid so that whenever I lift the lid up, it does not slam back down. These are also optional. This is for the staple gun. These are just staples um, because we are gonna be stapling the chicken wire to the lid. However, if you design your lid differently, you may not need those. Then of course we have some screws. Those are the size. We also have a smaller type of screw. We have corner hinges here. We did have to get two packs. These are what's gonna hold the four walls together. And then we have three three inch hinges. These are what is gonna hold the lid in place. So whenever you open the lid, these will be the hinges on the back. And I did decide to get three of those because it is gonna be a very, very long enclosure. So I wanted to make sure that it had a lot of support holding that top on. And then of course, here is our receipt. And as you can see, it was $150 for everything. I will put a picture of this receipt on the screen for you guys at the end, don't worry. So you guys will be able to see. There was like two items on here that are not right here included in this, but the majority of this all is right here, including the lumber and everything. 
So things you will need is definitely a saw. Um, this is Patrick's saw. If you do not have a saw to make all of the cuts in the wood, you may have to get a store or someone to do it for you. We do have a saw here at home, but this is definitely a necessity for making all of the cuts in the wood. So the first thing you have to do is essentially cut the 10 footer in half and then you'll have two five foot walls. So here is essentially what it will look like and as you can see there is spacing on the ends of the five foot so this is where the 30 inch pieces are going to go and they'll make up for that little bit. So now he is measuring the end pieces so that he can cut the six footer to make up the two 30 inch ends on it and they will go on the outside and essentially sit right here and then we will connect it and put the corner braces on and everything. This is a one by 12 by six foot. What are you cutting it to? 29 and three quarters, and you're cutting two of those. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That looks perfect. It looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's coming together so nicely. Now we are basically just gonna screw all the screws in and the corner braces to hold this thing together. We gotta pre-drill it first so it won't crack. Okay, so we're gonna pre-drill the holes where the screws are gonna go. There you go. All right. Perfect. Now that the box is done, he is just going to drill the plywood onto the frame. The frame is currently flipped upside down, obviously, and this is the bottom of the tortoise table. So he is going to be drilling the screws into the plywood now. We decided to go an extra step. We are actually gonna put some joists on the bottom lengthwise, just to give the plywood some added support so that it doesn't bow or anything in the middle since this is a really long enclosure. We're basically gonna be taking these two by threes and we're gonna be drilling them into the bottom of the plywood just as an added support which will basically keep it from bowing or anything. The next piece is going to be the piece that holds the lid on, or rather it holds the hinges for the lid. So now we are going to be cutting and measuring the back panel for the door. Now the door is gonna stop 10 inches from the end, so it's gonna be 10 inches short, and that's because we are gonna be putting a hide on this end with a solid piece of wood that will also hinge open and close for the tortoise because we wanna give him a really dark place to go in. It's gonna be very similar to the Zoomed tortoise house enclosure that also has a hide down here. So this piece will be connected with a hinge and then this is where the hide will start. The two end pieces, this one, and then there will be one down here on the other end of the door. Hey guys, so uh, Lori had to run to the store to go get a staple gun. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. Uh, we're gonna be cutting the corners off of this. Uh, it's gonna be the way we're gonna brace up the lid. It's gonna be our corner brace. We're gonna cut three more of those. Um, I've cut these corner pieces. They're gonna sit on the top of the corners just like this. But yeah, now we're gonna work on screwing those in. And then when she gets back with the staple gun, we can actually add the fencing to the bottom of it. Okay, so here is the tortoise house thus far. This is how far we've gotten. We are about to put the chicken wire in here and we are gonna attach that underneath. It basically opens just like this. Something extra I will end up doing is putting a handle right here. That way I have a handle to lift it open because this is about four feet, a little bit longer than four feet actually. So it is a really, really big lid. It'll definitely need a handle. And then as you can see, we have an empty space right here where we are gonna be putting a lid and this will be closed in. It is 30 inches long by 10 inches wide and that will be where he can go and sleep at night. Okay, so here is the door completely finished. The door is completely done. This is the chicken wire completely applied and as you can see I specifically chose the two foot chicken wire so there is no sharp edges so whenever I go to open this there's no chance of me cutting myself or anything like that and obviously the tortoise will never be touching the top of this but just in case I didn't want any sharp edges so this is like the best chicken wire to pick. It is the two foot long one and then we used a staple gun and we put staples all the way down it so it's very secure. It's not going to come undone. It's really strong and it looks really good. So just to give you guys an idea of how big this is, because you won't really be able to tell, this is me completely sitting inside of it. 
So it's huge. I think Blue is going to absolutely love it. And I think it's going to look really, really good whenever it's completely done. But as you guys can see, it looks super good. It's massive. I'm five foot long, so it's my height if I were laying down completely like casket style. But I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. It's cleaning up all of the shavings and debris and everything. <laughs> Okay guys, that is it. It is completely finished. I painted it white. It's still wet. I just got done. It's probably going to need a second coat, but honestly, I'm so impressed with it. It doesn't even bother me if I only do one. It looks so good. Obviously, there is no paint on the inside whatsoever. We only painted the outside just like we did with my birdcage. So it looks really clean and crisp. And this is a non-toxic paint. So you don't have to worry about it having any toxins, no smells, nothing like that. Obviously, this has to be completely dried before we can put blue in here. But I think it looks amazing. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching us build this. Okay guys, that is it for this DIY tortoise table video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave a complete list of all the supplies that it took to build this tortoise house down in the description below. As well as here's a picture of the receipt so you guys can see exactly what supplies we bought and how much it costs to build this tortoise house. All in all, this tortoise table that measures two and a half feet by five feet cost us around $150 to make. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell. Also, please remember that this tortoise enclosure is appropriately sized for a small Mediterranean species like a Russian and Egyptian. Juvenile sizes, usually six inches and under and other species like that. However, there are a ton of other much larger tortoise species that a five foot long enclosure would not be big enough for as adults. So do bear that in mind and make sure that when you're building your tortoise enclosure that you do size appropriately. Blue is a five inch juvenile tortoise. He's only two and a half years old. He is still very young. So a five foot long enclosure is perfect for him and I think he's really gonna love it. Be sure to stay tuned, subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are gonna be setting up this enclosure very soon. So if you don't wanna miss that video, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Be kind, bye.